Basin to Basin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. What God has commanded that the times of ignorance are over. God has commanded a day in which he has commanded you, every man and every woman, to repent. For he's fixed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness according to the man Christ Jesus. And when that day of judgment comes, it will be too late. You cannot bribe God with your ignorance, with your innocence, or your self-righteousness. And you can say, well, I don't believe in God, but it does not matter what you believe. It only matters what is true. You could commit a crime here in Charlotte and stand before the judge, and the judge finds you guilty. And you could say to the judge, judge, I don't believe you're a judge. Jerry, I don't believe you found me guilty. I don't believe that I'm going to prison. I believe I'm going home. How far to the courtroom door will you get before the bailiff tackles you to the ground? You see, it does not matter what you think about the judge. It only matters what the judge thinks of you. And if you're in your sins, when he looks upon you, when he looks upon you, his anger and his wrath burns with every sin that we commit, with every transgression of God's law, we store up wrath for ourselves for the day of wrath and the righteous judgment of God. But God has commanded you to repent, oh not just to say, I'm sorry, God, and to continue on your merry way, living as the world. For the Bible says, do not love the world, nor the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of the life is not from the Father, from the world. The world is passing away, and also our lusts, but the one who does the will of God lives forever. You cannot just say, I'm sorry, God, and continue on your merry way. You must turn from your wickedness, turn from your unrighteousness, for the road you are going leads to destruction and death. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction. And there are many who enter through it, for the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life. And there are few who find it. But maybe you think to yourself, I'm already okay with God.